magnificent. Here they go. He's, he's running. He's running towards me. It's like, wow, look at this place. We've been in Koh Samui for a little over a day now, and it is an absolutely amazing place for digital nomads, backpackers, and travelers alike. Believe the water here, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like crystal clear. Absolutely beautiful. Although we could spend all day here, that's not what we got planned today. We plan to go tour around Koh Samui, some really amazing monuments, some beautiful waterfalls, just so much that this island has to offer, and we can't wait to go check it out with you guys. But since it's all spread out, you know what that means. We got scooters. All right, so we just made it to Wat Prai Yai. Or the Big Buddha. <laughs> and it is absolutely amazing as soon as you pull up and start walking in. That is one Big Buddha. That's one thing that has been consistent with all these like temples and places that we've gone is just intricate detail they seem to be putting into every single inch of every place we go. It's absolutely astonishing. It's so... I don't even have words for it. My descriptive words don't do it justice. Another thing that seems to be consistent with them is how hot it is. It's so hot in Thailand. If you've never <laughs> been, I'll tell you. They're not exaggerating. We spent most of the last two years in Latin America and it's hot in Costa Rica. It's hot in Mexico. It is hot in Thailand. Wow, look at this. We plan to go to two temples today. It may feel a little repetitive at times when you're going through some of these temples from on the screen, but I'll tell you, every time you go to a new one, they're just so big and so grand. And it's cool, because the one we're going to next is actually right across there. Yeah, you can see it from the steps of the Big Buddha. You can see the other one there. We'll check out the other temple quick before we hit the road. Now, the last one, we didn't have to pay. There are places, obviously, all around where you can give donations to you know, help out with the bills and whatnot here, but it's not a necessity. It's not a necessity. It's not a necessity. Wow. It's like I said, we've seen a bunch of these, but they're just all so grand. It's crazy. So, like, magnificent. And they're very tranquil. It is, yeah, absolutely. Very peaceful. Mm -hmm. It is very peaceful. I feel like I shouldn't be talking so loud. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. wow, look at this place. <laughs> I feel like this one could be like about like mischief or something or like jealousy maybe it yeah maybe jealousy with the green but maybe that's just like a western association is maybe. like the green maybe green is like the color of the warrior it's got a couple weapons what's your inner warrior fighting those inner battles his mustache too we're trying to interpret it in our own way and we think that this is an absolutely amazing place mm -hmm. and as per always we mean no disrespect yeah. we're just in our interpretations we're just learning enjoying but if you'd like to educate the viewers and ourselves and let us know some of the details on these places let us know in the comments yeah. below definitely oh wait quick selfie quick selfie 
All right, so we've made it down here to one of our favorite places so far on the island. Nice little cafe called Cafe Cobb Bread and Breakfast. Really nice little place. Great environment. They got the AC yeah. cranked, which I love. Yeah, if you do follow our social media, you'll see just a few days ago, we actually spent the afternoon working here and had a delicious egg florentine. So we love this place. Yeah. We had to come back. I had to come back. It sounds like they got the coffee grinder going, so I'm going to go order myself an ice cap or something like that. <laughs> Let's grab something to eat so we can get back on the road and onto those waterfalls. All right, we got the chicken pesto, balsamic salad. This ain't gonna last long. Not long at all. just got here to what looks like it may be our first and possibly only waterfall of the day. <laughs> Took way longer than we had anticipated to get here because it's four o'clock. Four o'clock now. <laughs> Spent a lot of the afternoon on the bikes, which is not a bad thing. No. It's been an absolutely beautiful ride around the entire island. But when we went to the first waterfall there, it was a, a bit, disaster. bit of a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> That was scary. He was like right at my I heels. Know. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. And I swear I heard monkeys in the trees too. And I was like freaking out on the bike. I was like, oh my God, this is like my worst night. <laughs> we are stuck in like the Thai jungle with dogs and monkeys. And... I'm not really seeing the waterfall part though. Like it's pretty non waterfallish. It's well clean. Now this looks like it's some kind of path or something. It's hard to tell whether we're walking in the right direction or not. Keep walking, I guess. Ooh. Okay. So, we are reviewing the rest of the waterfalls on the island before we touch the bike. Reading reviews. Lesson learned. This one had massive signs all over. When you first pull up, they've got like a bit of shops and stuff. And then they do charge you for the parking. Thankfully, we had some change on yeah, us. Yeah, it's 20 baht per bike. 20 baht per bike. And I think I saw 50 baht per vehicle if you have like a full car with you. Yeah. So. All right, let's go check it out. We officially made it. Put the hand on the stone. We made it. <laughs> we made it. Cool spot. They've got like all these shops and stuff here. Must have a market, maybe like on the weekends or something. They've got the market, and but... maybe we're just late because it is four o'clock and I think a lot of these places are kind of open to like five-ish. That's a great point. Could be us, not them. Ah, oh, wow. Look at this place. It is hit or miss with a rock. Yeah, no, isn't it? Yeah, there's a bit everywhere. <laughs> Trying to keep the ears above water so that we don't get like some kind of infection. Yeah. Your buddy's here just jumping in. Yeah. I'm floating now. Whew. I'm content. Adventurous in this water right now. <laughs> the snakes and Stop the whatever it. else. Don't say around. that! Oh no! Don't freak me out! <laughs> Look at that beautiful waterfall though. Wow. I think we are going to just do the one waterfall today. We got a bit of a late start. We were two of maybe five, six people there. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty quiet for, you know, what, what we were getting. Yeah. You know, for one of the most popular waterfalls in the whole island. So it's pretty cool. It's been a fantastic day. Close to me. Thank you. <laughs> You go.
All right, guys, we are here at our first island of the day, Comad Sum, known as Pig Island. We are super excited to be here. We actually took these really cool traditional long boats out here from Koh Samui. You get this really beautiful view of all the islands scattered all across the archipelago out here. Absolutely amazing ride to come out here. But like I said, we're super excited with this first stop because this is Pig Island where we get to actually sunbathe and feed the pigs right here on the beach. They've been here for over 20 years now, the, our guide was saying. Fishermen brought some food over with them, the pigs ran wild, and then they've just kind of overtaken the island ever since. So let's go check them out. Ooh, look at the pig. It's so fat. <laughs> look at his big belly. It's because people are brought out to the island to feed them all day. Isn't that tasty? Oh, don't be talking like that right now. <laughs> Hi. Are you allowed to touch them? I would try. I'd be careful, especially if you touch like the biggest one. Like he, he can just turn around and like. I don't oh, even... then there's puppies. Hi, puppies. All kinds of friendly animals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, do I get I don't those? even want to talk. Okay, I'll see where I can get some food for them. I don't know. Yeah, maybe if we have food, they'll be friendly. Let's get food. Look at them all over the place. Oh my God. Look at them all down there. <laughs> Look at them all. Ooh, there's oh, some of the feet. Cute. 50 baht. Hi. Oh my god, I don't know if I like them or not. You get the feet and they know what's happening, eh? Look at this guy. Can I touch him? Touch him? Touch him. We'll give you the food, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the squeal's kind of good. They're scary. Okay, okay. Oh, look at they all come in running. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get it down, but... Oh my gosh, look at them all. Oh, look at there's a little piglet. The little baby. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Well, you guys covered it all in sand, you dorks. <laughs> Can you feed from hen? No? No, they'll bite you. Bite, bite. We'll try to give some to the piglets here. Okay. The little guy needs some too. Oh, big guy just comes in. Look at them, they just take over. Hi. Oh, he's not, he's not hungry. <laughs> He doesn't want my food. <laughs> he's sleeping, he's sleeping. Okay. Yeah. Hi, there you go, buddy. <laughs> oh, I don't think they can't come in. So they're like so that. aggressive and fight with each I other. I know, I kind of got anxieties around them. It is kind of like nerve wracking. Yeah. It's not like you're chilling out in the water just sunbathing with pigs like you see in the videos like or pictures it's kind of like yeah just like almost like a wild farm and you're walking around trying to feed <laughs> i think i think they're getting to just a little bit here i think they're getting to just a little bit okay i'll try to feed them again watch here we go ready you gotta be quick they're dangerous Oh my gosh, look at this guy we just came across. Oh, he's a seed as old puppy. He's so soft. Feel him. Such a soft little guy. Oh, he's itchy. Hey, baby. Oh, he trots off now. He trots off. I'm loving this island. <laughs> just like the like chill out with fun pets island. Pet except, island. Except you have to watch out. Supposedly there's a couple of pigs that bite. And then they attack each other too. It's kind of scary. It gives yeah. me anxiety. And they don't tell you ahead of time which pigs bite. No, they're just like, oh whoa whoa, that one, he bites. It's, no, you're by right, the it's, way, yeah. don't don't touch that one. It's like <laughs> what? Okay, so we got some more food. And supposedly you can get him to come down and enjoy some time by the water with you. We'll see. You can entice him down with the food. Like entice him over. 
This is how you do it though. You bring it here. Now let's see the bag. Maybe not. Okay. Good. Pick up the plate. How about you fill that plate? And I'll use this to bring them over. So we're going to take out just a little bit. See if we can bring these guys to the beach for a little beach shot. Who wants some food? Oh. Here they go. He's, he's running. He's running towards me. We got the pig to the beach. Okay. Now we need the other one. Okay, let me see it. Just pour a bit in it. Oh, here's the other one. Put it down. Okay, get the other one. We're drawing like a crowd of everybody that wants to get pictures of the pig by the beach. Hey, give me that. I'm gonna sneak away with it. Okay. Yeah. Get another bowl. <laughs> big old hog. These ones are big. Yeah. Big old belly on it. <laughs> no more. All right, we had fun with the pigs. Now it's on to the next adventure. <laughs> that was crazy. I've never seen so many fishes. It was like so crazy. Oh. They were just like all swimming in my face. I know they're everywhere. They're still here. Oh, I'm gonna eat them. Yeah. We're here on Coral Island slash Coral Beach. We just finished snorkeling out in Koh Tan or the Tan Island right after going on Koh Mat Sum. So it's been a great day. Three stops. Each one a little bit different. First the pig island and the puppies, then the snorkeling. And now here we had a great lunch. Fed us with some awesome fried chicken with rice. A little bit of soup, some veggies, great lunch. Now we got about 15, 20 minutes on the kayak, but as you can see, Jess is pulling away. So I gotta catch up, let's go. How that looks like from a magazine. We've done two big day tours on the island so far. One in Koh Tao, which was like an all day snorkeling thing all around the entire island with like five or six different stops. That was an amazing day. We really loved that. Yeah, it was 
so awesome. You know why it was so good also? It's because it was so cheap. It was half the price that we paid for this tool. Yeah, see, the difference is, I would say, is that this is cheap. This one's double the price, but you get the variety. So we went to Pig Island, we went snorkeling as well, and now we're here at this beautiful little bay. There's a lot of variety to this day, but like Jess said, it's kind of rushed. And it's not the exact full day, and full day I mean between like 8 and 4. Yeah. This one is between like 8 and 2. So yeah. you are missing that couple hours, which kind of does affect the day, because instead of us having the hour and a half to chill here, they're telling us we only have 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And not to sound spoiled, but I want to be here all day, you know? Yeah, I mean? and after Kotal, and that was just such a full day at half the price. Yeah, we got back at what, 4.35 that day? Yeah, it was an amazing day. So if you're in the islands and you specifically want to do the snorkeling, we suggest go to Kotal, 100%. check out, get your guide. We'll leave the link in the description below for that tour as well. But that one was a full day snorkeling tour. The waters were clearer, absolutely beautiful. But this, if you're in Koh Samui, still a great day yeah. just it's double the price probably because of the popularity of Koh Samui we did notice that throughout just our whole stay here the food is more expensive everything is just a little bit more expensive on this island well, but then it's also more rushed this too yeah sorry I didn't mean to interject that and also I know Koh Samui is a lot bigger than Koh Tao Koh Tao was this beautiful little tropical haven of an island it was tiny yeah. and you really felt like you were out in the middle of nowhere Koh Samui is quite large island so you feel like you're kind of more inland yeah you feel like you're actually on land mm -hmm. inland on land yeah you feel like you're not so much an island getaway as it is right with Koh Tao it's that kind of laid back island Surfer. life everyone's yeah. surfing scuba diving snorkeling yeah. it's just a more chill vibe Koh Samui feels a little bit more rushed. Yeah. The traffic goes faster, the people just move faster, and the, the tours even end a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> so we should probably paddle ourselves back in here because they're probably waiting for us. Well, what an amazing day touring all around the Koh Samui area between Koh Samui and Koh Tan. Really great day. Such a good day. The Pig Island was so cool. It was unbelievable. And Koh Samui all together, it was a really great time. We got back on those scooters, toured around. We also got to check out a really cool waterfall. Yeah, and we really explored the island. Yeah, the interior was beautiful yeah. with the mountains, Gorgeous. the hills, and the real tall... Uh, why am I drawing a blank? What are they? Palm trees. Palm trees. Yeah. The real tall palm trees. <laughs> There, I, I don't know what it is. The real tall palm trees just like seem to grasp my attention a lot more. That's the end of not just today's tour, the end of our time in Koh Samui as we are yeah. heading back to our room to pack up because we are taking a ferry and then a train ride over to... Bus. A ferry and bus. You know who's booking all of our stuff. <laughs> We're taking a ferry and a bus over to Phuket and we cannot wait to go explore that area next. If you haven't yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring-a-ding-ding-dong -ding -ding that bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. And until next time, bye. bye.